Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk about my TBR for middle grade March, hosted by the lovely Krista from Books and Jams, Amanda from The Carly Reader, and Katie from Life Between Words. And I am very excited for middle grade March. Last year I participated for the first time and it really made me read more and discover really lovely middle grade books and so i'm really excited to participate again and i had lots of fun uh, thinking about which books i should read for each prompt and i would love to know if you are also participating and which books are you going to read ah and which books you can can you recommend to me i always love to discover new middle grade books and so Let's start with the first prompt. The first prompt is read a book with five or more words in a title. And also the last prompt is read a book older than you. And so I decided to read The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, a British writer, and was published in 1908. I've been wanting to read this book for a long time and I thought this is the perfect opportunity, a classic. I love this really cute, cute cover. The tales relate the adventures of several animal friends and neighbors in the English countryside, Mole, Rat, Toad, and Badger. While Mole and Rat are content to go out in a rowboat or travel the roads in a caravan, Toad prefers the excitement of motor cars. I've started reading it today and the first pages are really cozy. The mole has been working very hard all the morning, spring cleaning his little home. First with brooms, then with dusters, then on ladders and steps and chairs, with a brush and a pail of whitewash. Spring was moving in the air above and in the earth below and around him, penetrating even his dark and lowly, lowly little house with its spirit of divine discontent and longing. It was a small wonder then that he suddenly flung down his brush on the floor and said, bother, bother, and also Hank spring cleaning and bolted out of the house without even waiting to put on his coat. The second prompt is read a book with an orphan as a main character. And for this, I will be reading Bobo Pit. I discovered this book because last year I read Christmas with the Savages, which is a book that is part of the Puffin Book Collection, books that last a lifetime. I got this book also because of the cover, because it, it is really, really cute and it looks very vintage also. In the cellar of Park House, the old mansion where orphaned Samantha has been sent to stay with her disagreeable aunt Daisy, there are hundreds of bogopits believed extinct up till now. Aunt Daisy wants to get rid of them all, but Samantha grows very fond of one and can't bear to part with him. It seems as though Samantha and her aunt will never agree until one day Aunt Daisy mysteriously disappears and Samantha plans a big rescue operation. And I'm really looking forward to read this book and discover this author. The next prompt is read a contemporary book. And I am really excited to read Shine by Chris Gravenstein. Last year, exactly for middle grade March, I read Escape from Mr. Limoncello's library. It was lots, lots of fun. I can definitely recommend this book. And so I was really glad to find another book that has been written by Chris Gravenstein. And I think he has written this book with his wife. Right here, right now, Shine On might be the catchphrase of 12-year-old Piper's hero astronomer and television host Nelly Dumont Fries. But Piper knows the truth. Some people are born to shine and she's just not one of them. That fact has never been clearer than now, since her dad's new job has landed them both at Chamley Prep, 
a posh private school where everyone seems to be the best at something and where Piper definitely doesn't fit in. The next prong is really interesting. Read a book set in Asia or featuring an Asian main character. And I am really looking forward to read Measuring Up by Lily Lamotte. 12 year old Chi Chi has just moved from Taiwan to Seattle and the only thing she wants more than to fit in at her new school is to celebrate her grandmother's 70th birthday together. Sissy cooks up a plan to bring Ama by winning the grand prize in a kids cooking contest to pay for her grandmother's plane ticket. Can Sissy find a winning recipe to reunite with her grandmother, a way to fit in with her new friends and somehow find herself too? This graphic novel sounds really heartwarming and I am very excited to read this graphic novel uh, because it looks like there are lots of talk about Taiwanese food and we will also I think read about how she adapts and also at the same time how she tries to maintain her relationship with her grandmother who is not living in the same country in the same country than her so it sounds really fun because of the cooking element and the and the and the contest but also really heartwarming because of her relationship with her grandmother and as bonus i'm reading aggie morton the body under the piano this is the first book in the aggie morton series in this series aggie investigates cases with Hector Perrault and her grandmother, her grandmother Jane is very similar to Jane Marple and this I discovered this series uh, last year in December. It was really Christmas Eve and so I am hoping that this book has all the elements of the second book but it will be I think even better because I will get to know how they met exactly and I, I just love the idea of Agatha Christie as Aggie, how she learned to write, how she discovered discover her vocation, and I would love to continue with this series. So these are all the books that I am planning to read for Middle Grade March. I'm really excited. I love that there is the opportunity to read more Middle Grade. I love this event and I cannot wait to start reading these books. I would love to know which are your favorite middle grade books and what are your plans for March. I hope you have a lovely day and I will be seeing you very soon with another bookish video. Bye!